One of the most powerful features of an architect website is the ability to assign sub-users to make edits to that site. Essentially, this is content management, and this is a feature that's available for VIP members of Without Code. Let me walk you through how to set up a sub-user and how to get them editing different parts of their website. So I'm here on my Without Code dashboard, and I've got a couple of architect sites created. You can see beside those sites that it says sub-users, and there's nothing listed. Below this, in a different table down the page, there's a sub-user list, and that's completely empty. So we don't have any sub-users set up. So my first site here, I'm going to create a sub-user that can go in and edit parts of this website. So I'm going to click the gear icon beside that site, and I'm going to click Add Sub-User. So we get this message that says, Give sub-user account access to this site. So we need to create a sub-user username. In this case, I'm going to go Steve Muse Themes. Now be careful in this field not to include any spaces or strange characters. Next, we need to put in the email of the sub-user. Please note that this cannot be the same email that you use to create your without code account. So I'm going to put in steve at musethemes.com and add sub-user. So it successfully added that sub-user and now you can see it listed here on the sub-user table. The next thing we need to do is invite that sub-user to actually set up a password and log in to edit the site. The way that we do that is we click the gear icon beside that sub-user and we can click send access link. And when we do that, it brings up a dialog box that allows us to customize the email they're going to receive. So you can say anything you want here or you could change the language and then just click send email. So I should receive an email with an activation link to go in and edit the website. So I'm here in my email and you can see that we've received the information to create the account and set the password and it's completely unbranded. There's no mention of without code or anything like that. So we just need to click the activate account link here and it's going to bring us to a page on the site that asks us to set up a password. So let's go ahead and set up a new password for that sub user and just click change password. So it says our password's been updated and now we can log in. One thing that's really important to know is when you log in as a sub-user on sitemodify.com, you must log in using the username, not the email address. So I'm going to put in Steve Muse Themes and the password I just set up. So now that I've logged in, I'm brought to a unbranded site dashboard. So this dashboard looks a little different from the architect dashboard. And the reason for this is because your sub-users need to see a dashboard that doesn't have any without code branding on it. So this page is completely empty in terms of branding, and now your sub-user can just click on any site listed in the dashboard, and they can go in and edit. So you'll notice that the editor looks a little bit different for a sub-user. We've got store and blog options on the side, but most of the other settings and widgets and that sort of thing are gone. So now we can go ahead and scroll through the site and click on various elements and edit them. So it's basically like Adobe Muse in-browser editing. We can also edit image galleries and any widget. So if I click on this widget, you'll see that it brings up the image gallery and I can add new images. But you won't see the content and design tabs on the top. That's because we don't want sub-users having so much control that they could break things. So as you can see, the sub-user interface is really powerful and it's a great way to give your clients some access to edit parts of their site. Now, what if your client wants more control over their site or even less control? We can change sub-user permissions by going back to our without code dashboard and you'll see now under the architect site listed it says sub users and we can view and edit sub user permissions so if i click on that box it says this sub user was created and here are the permissions for them using the site so if i click the gear icon and i update the permissions i could go ahead and change them from having just limited editing control to full editing control for example and that enables some options like seo settings and developer mode and that kind of thing most sub-users are probably going to want limited editing control, and you can even disable things like blog and e-commerce access. Then we just click Update Permissions. And if I actually jump back to my editor and I refresh the page now that I've changed the permissions, you can see that the sidebar menu is completely gone. I don't have store or blog access anymore as we specified in the sub-user permissions. So as you can see, the sub-user system in Architect is really powerful for giving your clients content management capabilities. Now remember, it's important that when you create a sub-user, you send them an access link so that they can log in and create their password. 
And when they receive that email, they need to make sure that from then on they log in using their username, not their email address. That's the only way for a sub user to get in. And from then on, they can log in through the sitemodify.com domain. Thanks again for watching and best of luck working with the sub user system.